hello everyone i am vihitu uh, sitkaru de silva a software engineering undergraduate and a student of griffins at java institute colombo uh, today i am here by presenting the software program i created for the final software application project uh, this is a pharmacy management system which was created for a pharmacy named medq so uh, this is the main user interface uh, once the program is executed so now we are logging using the uh, admin credentials here so once the admin logs in uh, he will be firstly redirected to this kind of uh, interface uh, which is the post system the inventory control system of the pharmacy uh, so uh, before explaining about the post system here i'll uh, first go with the uh, the others with the other sections customers products brands and suppliers and company in these in all these uh, sections the same process happens save update and activate and deactivate process uh, so so i'll uh, quickly describe all those together and i'll show how the uh, details are been added and updated and activated and deactivated Uh, and here in this uh, section we can uh, now once the once a user is deactivated uh, like this once the user is deactivated uh, we can uh, restore those deactivated deleted uh, customers as well likewise within one click we can uh, restore them so it gets appeared back in the uh, customers table uh, as well as here we can print a report of the customers uh, a customer report likewise so uh, now i'll proceed And here in the uh, expired product section uh, we can see the products that are expired so these are expired as well as in this in the uh, products table they are being deactivated the expired products are not activated these are the ones that gets uh, expired so now I'll proceed
right so then update delete uh, search and uh, save process for the customer products company suppliers and brands are being successfully completed and, they, and by the way uh, all these fields are also uh, validated uh, now i'll move on to the grn section uh, here we can add a simply add the grn here uh, with the today's date likewise this gets added here uh, so and i can move on to the uh, grn item section where we can add the grn items for the grn that we created in the previous gui here we can uh, select grn product code barcode and quantity we can set as and the product price so likewise even we can uh, add more products Likewise, even the at the same time, the stock also gets updated. Here we can search by the GRN ID and product name. Likewise, here and then we can generate the GRN once the uh, GRN and GRN item sections are completed. We can uh, simply add the, uh, generate the GRN. It says to uh, select a row here. I will select this one here, which is the which has the GRN ID of 13, and then the GRN gets uh, uh, printed with those details. Now I move to the admin section. Here, the first section is sales. Uh, there are no sales yet, uh, however. I'll move on to the stock section. Here we can search stock by the product name. Likewise, uh, now I'll uh, generate a report, the stock report. So this is it, stock report with all those timings and stuff. Uh, and the invoice section here. Uh, once an invoice is clicked, uh, it uh, pops up another GUI saying in the clicked invoice what are the products in it so these two the these two are the products of the uh, G invoice ID 67 so likewise we can check it then we can search by the invoice ID and by the date Uh, this is the ph pharmacist section uh, here we can add the pharmacist add update uh, search and delete i'll quickly go through the process Uh, likewise, even we can print a report, uh, print a pharmacist report here as well. Uh, then we can uh, mark the attendance here. Uh, so we can select the one that added and then we can mark her attendance. Uh, the left time is not yet marked. Now I'll mark that by selecting this and I'll click on leave and the time gets saved, updated there and even we can print a report of uh, an attendance report.
here however this is a short lived one as because uh, the time is too short here so likewise and then comes the payroll or salary section uh, here we can manage salaries we can uh, we can add a new experience here experience level uh, if i say go to and then i can add the salary there also i can update it even here a salary report can be uh, printed like this now i can uh, manage the salaries here of the pharmacist here yeah, i've selected one and here in the january month there are no sa salary payable uh, this is the september so in september it says that uh, it has 500 uh, salary payable so now i can simply generate a report a, a pay sheet with all this and then we can uh, calculate the profits here uh, I'll come to the pro product, uh, profit section uh, later Just now I'll go to the post section here now simply we can add a uh, barcode this can also be now I'll now I'm going to add this manually but this can also be added by the uh, barcode scanner simply all the once the barcode is entered all these fields get uh, filled and we can simply add yes quantities can be updated once the quantities are going uh, is updating the price is also getting updated likewise and even we can uh, remove one We can add a uh, customer here. And if I try to uh, click this button to cre create an uh, invoice without uh, adding the cash paid, it will say that there's an invalid payment. So I'll give a value here. likewise uh, an invoice will be printed with the items that I put into the section and all with those customers invoice and all and now I'll uh, go to the sales section and I'll check for the sales in July July this other sections and in September which is this now the thing I the invoice uh, now I created only one invoice likewise we can search and even we can search from a date here because and even not from a date range request I give a previous date and all these are getting uh, updated with the sales amount and you can select uh, in the backup restore section we can set a backup path
So it says success. Uh, let's move on to the uh, documents here and test DB is created. Likewise. And finally, uh, and there are also these sections here. When we click file, we can open a website and uh, uh, log out. I say no for now and exit. Here, navigate, we can navigate to the post here and the about section like this uh, and in the support section and even uh, finally we can log out like this and the process is completed.